Weave it. Now that I have your attention, let me introduce myself. My name is LaSondra Mercer, a native of Meridian, Mississippi. I am a cosmetologist. I am married to the Reverend Larry Mercer. I have three daughters and five grandchildren. Now, let me speak to you all about the weave of the hair and the quality of the hair, the difference between human hair and synthetic hair. Most of us hardly know about thinking about the brand of hair that we should choose when achieving our hairstyle. As a cosmetologist, I have accomplished a lot with a high quality of hair. According to the hairstylist, better hair it would last longer. What is a good human hair is made of? A good human hair is made of the best remit hair that you can find. A hair that's synthetic is made by fibers. What your client wants in a good hair weave is the enhance of the hair, the difference between the synthetic hair, and what the opinion of choosing a good hair. The difference between real synthetic extension human hair maintains your style longer and gives you the quality look of a natural looking as your own. Women are always want to be glossy, classy, and want to look like the red carpet look. Now 100% of hair has come from the real people. This means some people donate their hair sometimes if you're going to get a high, high quality of hair and the price that you pay. The highest quality which is known as the Remy hair. The hair is the process of the cuticle layer which is the outermost part of the hair flowing in the direction which women want everything right. You know as women we want everything to be right. So in choosing your hair, you will pick the best quality of hair. You can choose it by the feel of hair. You can choose it by the texture it may be. The cuticle layer is important when concerning and considering hair tangles. A good hair would be just as your hair. If you put a conditioner on it, it will not tangle. But if you got a synthetic hair, it will bald and tangle. It depends on the cost of the hair. Styling real hair has come exactly the same way you, as your own hair. When you let your hair dry itself, again, human hair is the way to go. There are a restriction with styling both straightened iron and curling. You can curl the human hair, but synthetic hair will burn if you apply heat on it. With synthetic hair, hair extensions, like I said, it will melt. If heated on irons, curls, or rollers, then it will go to your hairstyle. Real human hair extensions will last up to 12 months with proper care. Synthetic hair only lasts like weeks. So if you were looking to achieve a hairstyle with human hair and last longer, you would purchase the Remy hair. But a synthetic style only would last like a week or so, and that's all you want to do, change your style. That's the way to go. The cuticle layer is the impact of a layer of down flat. The hair is capable of reflecting light, naked, and hair shine. Synthetic hair is made from a very synthetic fiber, commonly known as the kanaka line. Most of you have never, ever heard of that before. If you are a stylist, then you know what I'm talking about. The real human hair is made of natural looking synthetic hair. Now when I say that, you have some hair, some synthetic hair is made out of protein hair. It can be a little heat applied to this hair, and it can look like human hair. The ways of their interception is going to wear a style for a short period of time. You don't have money enough to buy the Remy hair. Remy hair can cost anywhere from, what, let's say, 75 to 85 or maybe even $150, which your synthetic hair would be like 12 9 or what. So what would this do? You can achieve only that style for a short time, a period. The difference between the extensions is if you're going to get a sew-in, naturally I advise you to get the human hair. 
But if you're going to get just a hair to last just a few days, then the synthetic hair is the way to go. Now, I have told you the difference between the hair, and you should be able to go and pick the hair that you would like to be. If you're going to get a sew-in, the way to go is human hair. If you're going to get synthetic hair one week, two weeks last, then it's the synthetic brand of hair, which don't cost much. Now that I have gotten your attention, everybody, about the hair, then you should know how to go to the store to pick the difference between human hair and synthetic hair. If there are any questions, I would like anyone to feel free to ask me now. Does synthetic hair causes harm to your scalp? Sometimes you may find a reaction to the synthetic hair if, it, if your skin is sensitive to fiber hair. If your skin is sensitive to the hair, then the way you should go is with human hair. Okay, that is the end if there is no more questions. And I thank you for being here and being such a great audience today. Give yourself a hand. Thank you.